Hi there, and welcome to our weekly reading. So, this is for the week of March 19th through March 25th. And before I get into the reading itself, there's a couple of things I want to mention. We are, I just heard, in an, in an energetic threshold this week. So, we have the equinox on Tuesday. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, it's the Spring Equinox. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, it's the Autumn Equinox. So there's one threshold. And then we also have Mercury Retrograde beginning officially on March 22nd. And that runs through April 7th. So definitely another threshold there. And it just feels important to mention those two things. And as I will say when it comes to Mercury Retrograde, my most important tip for you would be to take the greatest care possible when doing anything in regards to communication or transportation. Just double and triple check yourself to make sure it's what you need and what you want, okay? All right, so let's dive into our reading. We're once again working with a Housewives Tarot deck, and we're working with two aspects of life, our human selves and our soul selves. So let's see what that energy is for this week. For our human selves, ooh, the chariot. That seems fitting. Can you see what the cans say? Look at this. So the one on the left, I would say that's supposed to be tarot, which is very tongue-in-cheek. And then the middle one, risk, and the two to the right, gain, and I would say the one that's leaning out of the image is probably choice. So what is the message for us, for our human selves, for the chariot today? We notice that we will ask for you to be in attention that when you are in motion, that you are implanted in motion, that you are present within the motion. We notice that humans often work as though always moving forward, moving forward. In this, we notice that, of course, progress, and yet, we would ask for you to be in attention that you are present in the motion, in the moment, that as you are in motion, you are anchored within the energy of the motion and so able to discern what is happening, who is around you, what are you feeling, what are you seeing, what do you need to know? Okay, I, I'm really appreciating the whole motion within, or motion within motion, non-motion within motion. So being anchored in the motion, being planted in the motion. All I can think of is either an escalator or, well, an elevator, I guess, would work too. Interesting, escalator or elevator or a people mover, like at an airport. So it might even work best with an elevator because with an elevator we step on and then we must stand stationary. We, must, we, are, we don't have an option to move higher or lower within the motion of the elevator. We get in, we either go to a higher floor or a lower floor. Within that motion, we can't descend faster than the elevator. We can't ascend faster than the elevator, which sometimes, and I know I do it, on an escalator, I might uh, walk up faster than the escalator is moving me, or, you know, walk down faster than the escalator is moving me. Same thing with a people mover. It's great to step on, sure, and yet how many of us really just step on and don't move? 
probably we step on and then we stride so that we're getting where we're wanting to go faster. In this instance, we need to we need to claim the energy of the elevator. So even though we are indeed moving forward because we can't move backward, right? It doesn't work that way. Um, we need to sit with that forward momentum. We need to make sure we're f fully embedded in it. And what's the reason for that? So that we're present in it. So that we're able to fully engage with what's happening around us, who's around us, how we're feeling, what we're feeling, what insight we're receiving. You know, this is truly the embodiment of, of intuition. Because if you're always trying to be one or two or 10 steps ahead, you're missing most, if not everything, that's available to you intuitively. Okay? So, so that's for our human selves. I wonder where we're going with our soul selves. Let's find out. And I hope that makes sense, by the way. Okay, so three of wands. All right. Um, boy, check out the body language. Check out her face. <laughs> What is that saying? I look at this and I think, well, she has everything that she needs to get the job done. And yet it feels like, I don't know, I have this sense of her waiting for something or waiting for someone. Something, someone, maybe both. So let's find out what our message is for our soul selves around the Three of Wands. And we notice the wands are an energy of action. And yet we notice with the soul, the action of the soul is the inaction of the soul. The action of the soul does not wait, does not hold itself as though it is needing outside influence to move. The soul simply is, and as this is, the soul moves within its own energy, moves with the flow of the universe, moves with the flow of evolution, ascension. Anything else to say about that? No. Okay. Wow. Hmm. So, yeah, it's, it's, the soul waits for no one. <laughs> Which is really funny. I just heard that's caustic. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I would have to look up the definition of that word to really <laughs> get a grip, a grip on it. I, I understand it in a sense, I guess enough. Um, so what is caustic? It's kind of just abrupt, short. And, and that's okay. You know, the soul is timeless. I just heard seamless emotionless and it would be easy to think well that's cold the fact is it makes the soul uh, completely open I was going to say blank slate which I guess works in a to a degree but that sort of beingness creates an openness which is why our soul selves know everything. And I do mean everything. It has access to everything there could possibly be to know. And within our human lives, we can get to that point. It, in fact, I would say that the hope of our spirit teams that we permit ourselves to get to that point so that we can truly appreciate life, truly appreciate this human experience. With that level of openness, we take everything in. We don't judge it, we just take it in. And then it informs everything we do, everything we are. So, 
Yeah, the soul doesn't wait for anybody. The soul doesn't wait for anybody's approval. It doesn't wait for anybody to say, okay, yeah, it looks like you have what you need, so go on now. Go on with you. Go do your thing. The soul doesn't do that. And so it's a reminder that perhaps it's meant that we aren't to do that either. Um, gosh, wow. Well, hmm. Anything else to say about that at all? No. So I'm going to leave it at that and, you know, ruminate at will <laughs> on, on what that means to you, how that feels for you. And yeah, I guess that's it. Wishing you a wonderful week. And until next time, you take really good care. Lots of love.